77 on a 477. Double O two take 11 thou at the stripe for Massey. Gets the win light over Scott Tate. Tate was 25 on the bulb, an eight thou under to finish up the run. So Spencer Massey starts things off very tight here in the first pair of our 16. You know, it's not too many same times that you see them roll the winner's prize out in front of the tower. You know, a lot of times they'll hand you a trophy, they'll hand you a jacket, they'll hand you a big check, but when we get into that shootout, they basically just pulled the dragster here in front of the tower and said, this could be yours. With Jeremy York and Sherman Adcock Jr. Jeremy York, the house mouse. He has parked that car in the winner's circle before, but not tonight. He was 006 on the tree, take 12 thou at the stripe to break it out to thou. With that 540 on the 541, Sherman Adcock, 462 was the dial, 462 was the run, and 11 was the reaction time. So, so far, not so good for the door cars. At least in this pair, we're going to be guaranteed to have one advance. Tim West and the Monte Carlo on the right side, dialed 491. Colby Fuller on the left side, dialed in at 518. Remember yesterday when we came down to handing out that $30,000, it went to Miss Carolyn McCarty and that Rambler wagon. So the door cars have already started things off with a win here, and as we get down into the narrower rounds with fewer and fewer cars going down a racetrack, so far, the dragsters are two for two. Colby Fuller gets himself 20 thousandths of a second advantage on the reaction clocks and breaks out. Takes 38 thou at the stripe to be seven thou under. Tim West takes the Monte Carlo into the next round. 36 on the tree and 492 for West. So Fuller checking out of the game is now Scott Richardson and Ken Batchelor. Batchelor out of North Carolina. 440 is the dial on the right side of the racetrack. Richardson getting the head start with a 602. And that 82 bodied S10 pick em up truck. Pre stage bulbs are lit. Three drivers have advanced so far. We've got room for only eight. As the BTE round continues, five foul, the difference between the two at this end of the racetrack, and Ken Batchelor keeps it going for the Dragsters. 006, 441 on a 440. Batchelor gets their first 15 thou for the win. Scott Richardson was 11 on the tree and 604 on a 602. But Bachelor's 006. We had Bachelor to 006. Adcock with 011. Massey with a 002. As we get the rematch of the Young Guns versus the Has Beens. Shane Carr dialed 451. Race Kid dialed 469. So Carr, not in the same car that he was in during that shootout. But he's still looking over at the exact same face with Race Kid. I think Race. Last of the young guns standing. Car. Oh. This one's going to be mean. One thou between them at this end of the racetrack. And Race Kid gets a little revenge. Race 003 on the tree to Shane Carr's 004. Race after being 003 is a 470 on the 469. Shane Carr 452 on the 451. Car is 14 total. Kid is 14 total. And it comes down to one. Ten thousandth of a second. Win light goes to Race Kid. That was neither driver given up at all. At all. But Race Kid, by one ten thousandth of a second, remains that last young gun standing. Here now is Mr. Hodges and Miss Ivy. Ivy with a 459 dial on the left side of the racetrack. 
Hodges with a 471 on the right side of the racetrack. And Ivy Brannon drops it red, 25 thousandths of a second. Hodges, 19 green. Goes 472 on a 471. Taking a 9,000 stripe to do a little practicing after that race was over at this end of the racetrack. As now J.R. Barclay and Tracy Sons. Sons, 467. He's got the left side of the track this time. Barclay with a 453. Hendersonville versus Henderson, Tennessee. Two foul separate him at this end of the racetrack. And the wind light shows the top J.R. Barclays scoreboard. 008, dead on zero, another one ten thousandth of a second margin at the stripe. J.R. 008, 10 thou above. Tracy Sons, 10 on the tree, 8 thou above. Now two of the final eight pair have been decided by one ten thousandths of a second. Barclay is coming back. Final two. The Seaman, Corey Manuel. 455 going to be the dial on the left side of the racetrack. Jason Rich. With a 570 dial in the 39 Chevy Coupe. The folks in the uh, chat bleachers said earlier they'd love to see that coupe hanging out in the later rounds. Well, you got your wish. One thou the difference between the two in the reaction times. Corey and Jason. Winner is going to be Corey Manuel. 455 on a 455. 18 green dead on eight. Taking a three thou stripe. Jason Rich was 19 green and one above the dial.
pretty amazing in the western side of the United States to have this kind of pot money and Peter and Kyle do such a good job. Like I said, it's a pleasure to be here, man. I heard a lot of good things about it a couple years ago. I uh, came last year, got to experience it firsthand. It was awesome, a lot of, a lot of prizes to go for. One of the big races on the West Coast, you actually get a chance to make some money if you're gonna win. If you ever question coming, just come one time and see how it is, and I think you'll come back. here for tomorrow. There is still one active out there in the pits. If you go see John LeBou Sr., he will get you hooked up with that. And I'm going to have to check with Chelsea. I don't know if we have cut off that pick'em contest or not. But we did have a little contest going that whether you are here or not, you can get in on the fun as well if you perfectly predict the number of racers that will participate in the million tomorrow. JJ, have you put in your number? You picked your number? You don't want to share it? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about for that. I'm talking about how many racers, how many cars are we going to get in the million? See, I say, I say, you know, Chelsea and C-Money comes running over here. She's got the phone. She's going to go ahead and Let's see here. So it ends basically like today. So they've got until 11.59 tonight. Okay. So there is still time. All you've got to do is text MILLION to 74121. Make your pick. And your pick is how many cars are going to be in round number one of the million tomorrow. Tiebreaker is you'll select the one of the reaction times that are out there. It's all on the form. Just text MILLION to 74121. You'll get a link back for the form to fill it out. Again, that's whether you're here, whether you're listening online, whatever the case may be, you can be part of the fun as well. Got a couple of great prizes for that one, so uh, just do that. And then we'll see. So, JJ, going back to that, how many cars? Do you want to give it away or do you want to kind of keep it to yourself? Okay. What was it last year? 370, something like that, 375, somewhere? Okay. Somewhere between 325 and, yeah. It was like, what, 375 we paid out, right? Yeah. So we had somewhere between 325 and 350. I can't remember the exact number, but I do remember that that check that Peeps took home was 375. You can say 327. All right. That's a good solid pick. It's a good solid pick. I mean, well, we had 498 cars make round number one this morning. I think 327 is pretty good. What do you think, Jed? Three thirty-nine. 
I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to go higher. I'm going to say 352. 357 is a good number. A lot of stopping power with a 357. <laughs> All right, well, we should have round number one coming up here for the shootout. Our best losing package in round number six is Sugar Shane Carr. Sugar Shane. Round number six, best losing package. That gets you a nice little prize from our friends at BTE in the form of a torque converter. So, Sugar Shane, you have got that torque converter for that best losing package in round number six. We have the official ladder in. For what will be round number seven of the main event, it's going to be Massey with lane choice over Adcock. Bachelor with lane choice over Hodges. Kid with lane choice over Manuel. And Barclay, lane choice over West. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to take door cars versus the field? Oh, Brandon. Who agreed that the Raiders are going to win the Super Bowl? What? I'll take the Jets for 100. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm a Vegas guy, so if they do, that'll be fine by me. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Daniel, if you think that's going to be the number, man, text million seven four one two one. Put your put your entry in, man. Put your entry in. You just prices righted me, dude. He totally prices righted me. I said three fifty two. The guy online goes three fifty three. <laughs> oh, right. All right, so again, that ladder in the main event. Massey with lane choice over Adcock. Bachelor with lane choice over Hodges. Kid with lane choice over Manuel. And Barclay with lane choice over West. This is the American Race Cars Shootout. Round number one. Coming up right now with Blaine Mayer and Troy Williams Jr. 32 cars battling it out for the opportunity to take home that beautiful race car that is parked right over there in front of the Jegs inflatable. All right, Boo Boo, I'll check it. As we've got Blaine Mayer dialed in at 480, Troy Williams Jr. Dialed in at 476, four hundredths of a second. The difference in the dial, and it's a 005 reaction time for Blaine Mayer. 480 on a 480, 005. Get there first. 17 thousandths of a second to light up the scoreboard. Looks like a pretty good. Little meal there, boo-boo. Troy Williams was 22 on the tree and goes 476. On a 476. But gave up too much at this end of the racetrack. Blaine Mayer on to round number two of the shootout is Mia Tedesco and Matt Dattis. Mean matchup here. Mean matchup here. Dattis with a 644 dial. Miss Mia. And the shorty dragster dialed in at 478. Again, round number one of the American Race Cars and Todd's Extreme Paint Shootout. Again, this was going to be raced on Tuesday night. Mother, Ma Mother Nature had other plans, but gave us a beautiful evening tonight to go ahead and take care of this race. Dadis away, double O. Mia Tedesco chasing double O. Six thou was the difference between the two at this end of the racetrack. Five thou was the difference between the two at that end of the racetrack. Mia 002 get their first five thou and ends up 478 on a 478. She's dead on six. Matt Dattis was 008 dead five. 
Again, neither driver giving up an inch of real estate down at the finish line. But Miss Mia holding on for the win. And we'll advance through the rounds here again. Five rounds of racing to pick up that brand new race car is racing Jason Lynch and Kevin Glenn. Glenn, who was like Mr. One Pack a couple of rounds ago, is dialed in at 5.30 in the Nova on the right side. And Jason Lynch, he's got a 4.43 showing up on the left side scoreboard. Five foul, the difference between the two in reaction time. And Kevin Glenn grabs the brakes, goes 5.31 on a 5.30 with 002 the reaction time. Jason Lynch took 19 thou at the stripe, may have been fed a little bit of that, and goes 4.42 on a 4.43, breaks it out 10 thou. So Glenn, back to 00 form in the reaction time, gets the win as now Aaron Johnson and Carson Brown. Brown out of Blumfield, Tennessee, 477. Aaron Johnson dialed in 11 hunts lower than that with a 488 dial at a Springdale, Arkansas, the undercover ride. Pulling it up to the line. <laughs> RTC, no, it is not. That is non-negotiable. We like that inflatable. We're going to keep that. You get just the dragster. Just the dragster. It would be kind of cool to get that, though. Everybody else is putting out all their Christmas inflatables. You just throw, throw a big old Jags balloon out in your front yard. Red light start for Aaron Johnson. Johnson by three thousandths of a second eliminates himself from the competition. Carson Brown, 36 on the tree and dead on nine. On the lap. So Brown joins the couple of cars so far that have already advanced. It's now Bailey Ferraro and Shane Thompson. Thompson in that Silver State refrigeration, the blue car over on the left side that was done by uh, the Flying Airbrush. John Settles, who has been uh, kind of following along online as well. But a 460 dial for Shane Thompson. Bailey Ferraro with a 464 number on the right side. Wind light's going to go to Shane Thompson. 13 green, one above. Take 19 thou at the stripe as Thompson gets around Bailey Ferraro. Thompson was 23 total on the run. Take 19 thou at the stripe. Bailey Ferraro was 20 on the tree. And then ends up 22 thou above the dial. as Robert Houston and Shane Molinari. Molinari, who brings out the fast car to race in the shootout. Robert Vance is dialed 462 and is getting six tenths of a second head start over Shane Molinari, who's dialed in at four flat. Mr. Wynn, good day, Mike. 20 thou, the difference in reaction time, and whoa! 398.9 Shane Molinari breaks out 11 thou at 181 miles an hour. Robert Vance, 30 on the tree. 462 on a 462. And gets the wind light. Molinari was 10 on the tree. And too quick on that four flat dial. Got to the stripe first, 33 thou. Breaks it out 11 thou. So now as Dan Northrup and Marco Paravalaris get ready to square off, we'll take our quarterfinalists back to the lanes for the main event, please. Quarterfinalists back to the lanes for the main event, please. 10 thou the difference between these two down the racetrack and Dan Northrup, 574 on a 574. 007 takes 7 thou. Gets the win over Marco. Marco was 17 on the tree and dead on one. Ends up 18 thou total. Nitro Joe checking in. What's up, sir? 
Good to hear from you. Didn't get to see you this year, but good to hear from you as Hunter Patton and Bruce Holland. Hunter, 463 to dial here on the right side. Bruce Holland, 450 to dial over on the left side. See, Shane, it just rolls right off the tongue for you guys down there, right? You can say good day, mate. You can say good day, Nate. One of the two. So Patton and Holland pre-staged as we're making our way through round number one of the American Race Cars and Todd's Extreme Paint Shootout. We have called our quarter finalists back to the staging lanes for the $30,000 American Race Cars Thursday. It's like an all-American race cars type deal. Bruce Holland, 69 on the tree and 450 on a 450. He runs dead on one. And takes a ninth out stripe for the win. Hunter Patton was 57 on the tree. And parked it a little bit down there. 465 on a 463 at just 138 miles an hour. What's up, Rooster? Hey. Pretty cool. It's got to be cool having a song named after you. Here comes the rooster. Colby Fuller and Timmy Miller. Miller's got the left side with a 481 dial. Colby Fuller's got the right side with a 466 dial. Advantage on the tree. You can hear the throttle work that's happening down there at the stripe. 467 on a 466. Colby Fuller gets there first. A thou was 009 on the tree and lights up the wind light on top of that right side scoreboard. Timmy Miller was 28 on the tree and dead on the Zero. Colby with the win. 009 and 467 on the 466. Take a thou for the win is Carl Jones and Scott Lemon. Mr. Lemon dialed 463. Mr. Jones dialed 474. We are in and set again. Advantage to Carl Jones. Scott Lemon's got some work to do and takes two thou at the stripe to break out. 461 on a 463. Had no opportunity at that one. Carl Jones was 19 on the tree. Dead five. He's 24 total, Lemon's 35 reaction time, and that's just not going to work out. For Scott Lemon, Jones advances as Rob Domino and Jake Woodring. Woodring on the right side, 467. Domino. Coming in out of Holly, Pennsylvania, 449. That's good to see Rob back out here. Missed him at the last couple. Obviously, he's certainly not rusty. Double 07 and 450 on a 449. Domino's moving on. Double 07, take 11 thou for Rob Domino to get the win light. Jake Woodwing was 25 in the reaction time category and then goes 467 on a 467. He is dead on five, but Rob Domino takes care of business and will return for round number two. So we got Brian Whitworth and G Dub Gary Williams. Looks like we got the majority of our quarterfinalists back. Hopefully, all of you are there. Once again, those quarterfinal matchups Massey is going to have lane choice over Adcock. Bachelor is going to have lane choice over Hodges. Kid's going to have lane choice over Manuel. And Barclay is going to have lane choice over what looks to be the last remaining door car. No pressure, Tim. Nothing, you know, you're not carrying the hopes and dreams of all door car fanatics around the world, so don't worry about it. Gary Williams, 006 green, goes 484 on the 486. Brian Whitworth was 008 red. And then goes 481 on a 482. So G-Dub picking up the win light, moving into the round of 16 for the shootout is now Roman Cosner. And Johnny Ezell. Ezell, 478. Over on the right side, and for Cosner in the American build car.
So, I mean, if you are already driving an American dragster and you end up winning an American dragster, they're pretty much just like, all right, upgrade. Six now the difference between the two at this end of the racetrack. And John, 4800 on the 478. He is two above the dial after he was 11 on the tree. Roman Cosner had a 17 thou reaction time. Gets to the stripe first by 20 thou. And breaks it out six thou. It's Tim Thomas and Johnny Carter. That's why I just can't do this stuff. Jed talks about having a puke bucket and a burn barrel and all that kind of stuff. I would have to have the puke bucket in the car with me. Everybody's got like all their cool stuff set up, you know, the cockpit set up exactly how they want. I would have like a puke bucket and a box of Kleenex. Because if I were to do that, get to the stripe first, like take 20 thou, break out 9 thou, I'd cry. 001 red, I'd cry. Light up the wind light, I'd cry. I'm a sensitive guy. All right, maybe not that sensitive. 13 thou between them in reaction time at this end of the racetrack. John Carter, 002 dead two, makes it a four pack. Tim Thomas, 15 green, and goes 471 on the 469. Let's see here. Today we've seen a one-pack, two-pack, three-pack, four-pack. I think we've seen a five-pack. But like a good game of Yahtzee, they've just basically checked off all the boxes. There's now Corey Galitti and Scott Albrecht. You got one that's uh, having trouble making the turn up there at the top end. And as soon as we get the top end of the racetrack clear, we'll get back after it. We've got our quarter finalists back in the staging lanes. <laughs> Mo Trujillo says, I must watch a lot of Hallmark Channel. What? What? No, I don't watch a lot of Hallmark Channel. I watch a lot of Food Network. And I watch a lot of ridiculousness. And I don't know what it is about me, but there's something about... Uh, Something about watching a whole bunch of people make fools of themselves just before you go to bed helps me sleep better at night. <laughs> As I'm going back through thinking about all the dumb things that I had done that day, I watch people do dumber things and I don't feel so bad. I'm trying to see who is that that needs the help up there. I think it might have been Roman. No, that was a little while ago. Well, it looks like they're hooking them up. I don't know about that radial tire. Hell's Kitchen, there's just too much screaming going on there. And it seems like they're always making the same stuff. Oh, we will certainly make that happen, Mo. Again, a lot of folks looking forward to it. I mean, it was really cool. The fact that we got to do back-to-back -back flings, something that may never happen again. We got to go to Galat last week. And then everybody pretty much like a travel and road show. Packed up, rolled out here to Bristol. I'm sure a lot of folks are going to go ahead and continue their trek westward. They'll head into Memphis for next week's festivities. And then hopefully, several of you are going to be able to uh, continue west. I'm telling you, the weather in mid-October in Vegas is going to be nice. 
Should be really nice. But we do have that fall fling west. Didn't get to do the spring fling million out there, but... There you go. Brandon Umberger and the Jelly Bean. The Bean is going to be in Vegas. If you're going to be in Vegas for that, I'm going to have to queue up the I Believe I Can Fly soundtrack. Corey, Galitti, and Scott Albrecht the way on the green. Three thou the difference between the two, and Galitti. Yes, sir, Mr. Pendergrass. This is the Dragster Shootout. Galitti, 463. Two on a 463 was 14 green. Albrecht was 17 green and ends up 13 thou above the dial. As Mark Kidd and Jamie Holston. Kidd should be one of those guys that ends up at, here he was at Galat, he was at Bristol, should end up in Vegas. I think he might still be one of those undecided voters. <laughs> Watching the debates very carefully. <laughs> Jamie Holston's dialed at 452. Mark Kidd's dialed in at 454. Ooh. Mark Kidd, three total. Trip zip this end of the racetrack, 454 on a 454. Gets him their first 30 thou. Jamie Holston was 19 green and goes 453 on a 452. And man. Mark. Back into the main event. Ken Batchelor, J.R. Barclay. Excuse me, J.R. Junior Hodges are the two that are going to be there. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass the mic back to Big Jed. But, uh, yeah, radial tire, I got to do this. Credit where credit is due, Big Jed. We talked about this in Galat. As Joanne pointed out so correctly, so perfectly, that there are a lot of things that happen first at the flings. There are a lot of things that happen first in a lot of places. Big Jed, fling or not, whatever, was like the first one to really bring the chat bleachers into the game and start kind of interacting with the folks that are watching online. We can't have a whole bunch of folks sitting in the grandstands, but we sure do have a whole lot of folks that are watching and listening in, and I am going to turn it back to the guy who kind of started all that, Big Jed. Thank you, Nate. I just need somebody to talk to, so... I wasn't sure if we were supposed to talk to him or not, but I did. Hodges in the left, 472. Bachelor in the right dial, 440. 32 Hun going Hodges way on the head start. It stayed about that same number, only three thou separate them, and Hodges moves on. 13 and 14 thou above, 27 total, taking five thou at the stripe. Ken Batchelor is 16 and 16 thou above, 32 total. And J.R. Hodges moves in to round number eight. This is Auto Meter, round number seven, where the best losing package gets a gift certificate for Auto Meter product from our great friends at Auto Meter. Spencer Massey in the left lane. 477 is the dial. Sherman Adcock in the right dial. 462. Again, welded together on the starting line. And Massey, another dead on run. 17, dead five. Moving into round number eight. 45 thou in front at the stripe. Sherman dropped him off heavily. 18 and four above for Sherm. And Spencer Massey. Moves to the semis. There's Race Kid next up in the left lane. Kyle, what's that dial? 
469 for the Boise, Idaho. Boise, Idaho resident. Seaman, Corey Manuel in the right. Dial 456. 1300's head start. We'll be going race kids way. A little bit of mop up duty there in the right lane. Not real sure what got to the surface, but it doesn't look very bad. Look like a little easy little clean up there. We're back at it. Seaman burn right through it. Just make sure he got it all. If there was any residue left. Again, Boise, Idaho being represented in the left lane by the young gun, Ray's kid. <laughs> and Seaman out of Stokesdale, North Carolina. In the right lane, winner goes to the semis. Now separate them. Race Kid had the advantage up front, but Seaman gets the win with a very nice drop. 13, dead four, 456, four on the 456 at 145 miles per hour. Kid leaves 005, but breaks it out by six thou. Next up, Tim West. The lone remaining door car, 491 is the dial on the left lane. Right lane is J.R. Barclay, dial 453. Almost four tenths head start going to the door car. It's the last one of those remaining. And it's one of the fastest, if not the fastest on the ground. That might be it for door cars, and it is. J.R. Barclay, 008, take 45 to be 18 thou above. Barclay to the semis. West, 29, and then four above the dial. J.R. Barclay cruises into the semifinals, where it will be an all-dragster final round, regardless of what happens in the next round. Door cars have been eliminated. Kyle. Our 16 cars remaining in the American Race Cars Dragster Chassis Shootout. This is not a rush for you to get to the lanes, but if you're ready, you can come on up. 16 of you remain. If you're ready, you can come on up. We'll make your official call here in just a couple of minutes. Trying to give you ample time to get them cooled and fueled and ready to go for round next. 16 cars remaining in the American Race Cars Dragster Chassis Shootout, where that winner is going to get that beautiful American chassis sitting out there painted by Todd's Extreme Paint. I'm a door car guy, but that is a beautiful piece. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on it myself. Those 16 cars remaining, if you want to make your way to the lanes, we'll take you now. 
okay? Kyle told me hold up just a little bit on the official call, and 33 seconds later, he said go ahead and call him. So he figures that extra 30 seconds, you're all ready. Yeah, now you got them cool, just in case. So 16 cars remaining in the American Race Cars shootout. We need you now, please. All right, folks, if you're hungry or you want to get some of that delicious lemonade or whatever they're offering over there, if you're wanting some of it, need to hit the food trailer within the next 30 minutes. They're going to be shutting down. If you're hungry or thirsty and they've got what you like over at the food trailer, they've got a great variety. They'll be shutting down in the next 30 minutes or so. It is the KNN Spring Fling Million Dollar Race presented by our great friends at Optima Batteries. It's American Race Cars Thursday, $30,000 on the line. We've got the semis coming back here in just a little bit for our main event. We've got 16 cars remaining in the American Race Cars Dragster Chassis Shootout. It's only 22, 23 after nine, so this thing's wrapping up really nicely. Great crowd. Thank you, racers. Thank you, sponsors, for an amazing day here on the mountain. If you were in the John Laboose Million Dollar Race Entry Raffle, it's being drawn at his trailer at 930. Got a few tickets left. If somebody wants in, go see John at his trailer. But if you're in it and you want to watch that drawing happen, he's on down there here in about seven or eight minutes. He'll be drawing the winners. American Race Cars, we design and build the most competitive dragsters on the planet. Founded in 2005, American has quickly become one of the premier chassis builders in sportsman racing. Travis Colangelo and the American team focus on quality, precision, and driver safety. And remember, exceptional customer service comes with every car sold. Round wins, race wins, and championships start here. Join the American family today. For more information, visit AmericanRaceCars.net or see us at the track. Looking for a high performance? When you want high performance, there's only one place to go. Jags.com. Jags.com has the largest selection of high performance automotive parts on the web. When you need high performance, Jags.com has the part you want. When you want it. Want performance? You've got it. Jags. Nobody knows drag racing like Mickey Thompson Tires. The Pro Bracket Radial. Low rolling resistance makes them quicker and faster than their bias ply equivalents. With the Pro Bracket Radials, we haven't had to change any suspension. We did five back-to-back -back runs, and we only saw 18 thousandths of a difference on the 60 foot. We've had tremendous success with the Pro Bracket Radials. The Pro Bracket Radial. Be a part of the legend. three to bring your engine to life. Kenny and Norm knew that, which is why for over 50 years, the company that bears their name has been re-engineering what filtration can do. Engineered to protect against dirt and scientifically proven to provide up to 50% more airflow. K&N, 50 years of performance and innovation.
Grander and uh, so a couple of questions rolling in. Jed, we're glad you could join us on the talk show here today. We've got some questions from the audience we'd like to cover with you before uh, before we really kind of get things rolling here again. And uh, the first question comes from uh, Colorado. Brandon Umberger wants to know if you are going to be able to make the trip for the Fall Fling West. Mm, I don't. I really don't want to answer that because it's not the answer that I want to give, Nate. I will not be able to make the trip west for the fall fling. You know, I'm really disappointed in that. Yeah, I'm disappointed in it as well. Here, I make two trips east, and we're asking you for one trip west, Jed. Yeah. One trip west. Yeah, it is. It's very, uh, <laughs> very selfish of me to stay home. I wish I could go out there and hang out with you guys. Love that track. Love the folks on the west coast. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of people I don't get to see very often, obviously, so I love to get out there and see those folks and just see the spirit and enthusiasm that the West Coast racers have at the Fall Fling. It's really cool to watch. You know, we, we tend to be kind of business as usual out here because we get a lot of great big races. But out there, those choices are somewhat limited. They're better today than they ever have been. They certainly are. They're somewhat limited in comparison to what we do out here a lot. So. The spirit and enthusiasm out there is always amazing, and I, I'm going to miss that for sure. Yeah, it, it's something that we're going to miss having you there. But like you said, I mean, it's a good thing you've had, like, all of these big money races that happen out here on a regular basis, and it wasn't too much that we got to do out there on the West Coast. Uh, you know, Peter and Kyle really kind of brought that to life out there by bringing the Million West, by bringing it out, well, bringing the Spring Fling uh, West to Vegas first and then adding in the Million format. And then there are a lot of folks that are kind of bringing up a lot of the more local style races. Uh, you know, like Jesse Adams is doing some stuff up around the Sacramento area. They're doing some things out there with their stuff. And then, of course, you've got, you know, Chris, um, who's doing his stuff out there with that uh, West Coast bracket races. Just certainly, yeah, Forsyth stuff. That's that's certainly fun to, to have happening. And of course, uh, his partner, you might know him from Top Fuel Ranks, okay. one Indy, I think. Shane yeah. yeah, yeah, that guy. That guy. So, uh, you know, it, it's really cool with what, uh, with what uh, those guys are putting together out there. So, uh, it, yeah, the, the opportunities are more there. And we've got also got another question that's come in. Super important topic. Are you familiar with Mario Kart? Not very. Not very. Okay, so you probably don't have a favorite character in the Mario Kart I'm racing I'm, game. I'm afraid I do not. All right, so there we go. Unfortunately, we do not have a favorite Mario Kart character. Um, Luigi? I don't know. Is that a <laughs> There you go. Good guess. <laughs> the only reason I'm familiar with Mario Kart is because I'm an eight-year-old kid. <laughs> so we Mario Kart it all the time. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't get to the video games very often. Yeah, Humberger says he's going to have to agree with me on this one. We're a little bummed you're not going to make it. but uh, Not as bummed as I. I am going to miss it for sure. Um, you know, uh, just, man, the schedule is just so packed these days. I put on a couple of races myself, and work's busy. It's just it's getting more and more difficult to, uh, to make it to everything I want to do. And yes. I didn't get to go to Galat last week. Obviously, you did. And I got really lucky in the fact that I was able to do both of these races. So, um, you know, I'm certainly counting my blessings that, uh, <laughs> that that I was able to make it to both of those. Uh, the next question has come in for Jed. Um, obviously, a guy after your own heart. You're a cat guy. You like the caterpillar stuff. If it ain't a cat, it's a dog. Understood, understood. And uh, they would like to know, Jed, who does your hair? <laughs> Before you get out there on camera, you got somebody that does your hair and makeup. Who does your hair? Yeah, I, uh, I do have a hairstylist. Um, her name is Jenny. Uh, she actually, you know, now we're from Alabama, so you know, this, this might sound weird to some of you, but <laughs> to, to us it's just normal. Uh, I got home from work about 4 o'clock or so yesterday. Uh, I sat in a chair on the front porch. She knocked it down. She gave me a nice clean buzz here fresh one and then we got in the motor home and drove to bristol so i'm uh i got a fresh day right now nate very fresh all right next question that rolled in they want to know what are we dressing up for as halloween or what are we dressing up for halloween as like what 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 what's your uh, costume you got going on 
Uh, you know, I'm not much of a, of a costume guy, so um, I'm probably not going to dress up myself. But last Halloween, I got engaged, and um, Jenny Mo was a, a red M&M. And she didn't know she was getting asked to marry me at the time. So, you know, if so I was... So you proposed to her while she was dressed up as a red M&M? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. There you go. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. This is the shootout round of 16 coming back up. Well, we got a young man here wanting to call this uh, this 16-car field. I'll let him sit here, Nate, or you can let him. Oh, I'm going to get up out of the way. I'm going to turn it over to uh, the up-and-comer. Man, who am I kidding? He's a pro. Yeah. This kid's awesome. JJ. Thank you, Nate. Here we go. First pair. Colby Fuller, right side, 465 is the dial. Blaine Mayer on the left, dial 480. Couple of Georgia natives going at it. Here in round number two, 16 cars remaining in the shootout. 15 Hun, head start, gonna go left side to Blaine Meyer, or Mayer. Full tree, head start. Colby Fuller, 10, dead six, 16 total. Left side, Mayor. Left hand side, Mayor, 20 thou red and two above. Basically a perfect run, but not really. As he had a red light start and was two above. Colby Fuller on to round number three, the round of eight, is that I bring up Carson Brown and Miss Mia Tedesco. Brown dialed 478. Tedesco dialed 478. We got a heads up race right here. M&M Dragster and a Race Tech Dragster on the starting line. Brown in the 2010 Model M&M. Tedesco in the 19 Model Race Tech chassis. This goes in and set, just waiting on Brown. Bumping ever so slightly. Now he's in. Three hundredths separate him up front. Miss Mia Tedesco, 001, take 28 to be 21 thou above, 22 total. Brown, 31, one above nine, leaves him 28 thou behind. And Miss Mia Tedesco, on to the next round. Semi-finals, semi-finals of the 30 grander, semi-finals of the 30 grander. You're needed in the staging lanes, please. Our semi-finalist for the $30,000 to win Thursday. You are needed in the staging lanes as of now, please. Left-hand side, Shane Thompson out of Nevada. Dialed 461. Right side, G-Dub. Gary Williams dialed 487 out of Florida. He's getting 26 hun head start. And he turns it 15 thou red. Left side, Shane Thompson, 13 and 26 thou under. G Dub is 28 thou under after he's 15 thou red. And G Dub ends his night on a red light. Shane Thompson on to the round of eight. Dan Northrup, left-hand side, 573 is the dial. Johnny Ezel dial, 478 on the right. 24,000 separate them, top end. Wind light goes right side, Ezel. 002, take 19 to be 29,000 over, 31 total. Left-hand side, Northrup is 26 and two above, leaves him 19 behind. Johnny Ezel to the round of eight. Bruce Holland, left-hand side, 450 is the dial. And a Lexington, South Carolina. 
Right hand side, Corey Galetti. Galetti out of Tomball, Texas. Down 462. Galetti getting 12 on head start. Four foul separate them. Wind light gonna go left hand side. Nine take three for Holland to be dead seven, 16 total. Gulitti, 005, one above four, lays down 19 total. Not a bad lap, but he came up 3,000 short and Bruce Holland to the round of eight. Robert Domino Jr. left hand side, 449 is the dial. Kevin Glenn on the right, Glenn dialed 531. separate him. Wind light goes left hand side. Domino 14 dead five lays down 19 total takes 008. Right side Kevin Glenn is 23 dead four 27 total leaves him eight thou behind. Left side Domino to the round of eight. Mark Kidd left side out of Twin Falls Idaho 453 is the dial. Robert Vance Houston on the right out of North Carolina dialed 462. Separate them. Top end, the wind light gonna go. Left hand side, Mark Kidd, 20. Dead two, lays down 22 total. Houston, double O. <coughs> Excuse me there. Houston, double O nine, take 28 to be 15 thou under. Sending Mark Kidd to the round of eight. This is our final pair. Johnny Carter, right side. Dialed in. At a 484, he's getting exactly one tenth head start from left hand side. Carl Jones, Jones dialed 474. Red light start for Jones. Oh. Johnny Carter is 33 and one above two for a 45 pack. Left side, Jones, two thou red, dead one. Ouch. Jones is going to be hurting for that one, hurting on that one for a while. He'll come back tomorrow, get over it, and try and crack him for the million dollar in the Spring Fling Million.
more than just towing. Silver State Refrigeration is your source for all your refrigeration needs in Nevada, California, and Arizona. Started in 2003 with only two employees, Silver State now has over 150 employees. We have racers and commercial and residential customers. All Silver State technicians are both EPA and NATE certified and have an A double plus rating with both the Arizona and Nevada State Contractors Board. Call Silver State Refrigeration for all your refrigeration needs at 702 433 5008. Are you in the market for stainless steel headers for your door, car, or dragster? Stainless Works offers the highest quality stainless products made to bolt on any application. Made from premium 304 stainless and featuring beautiful show quality TIG welds, all Stainless Work products come with an unmatched lifetime warranty. At Todd's Extreme Paint, we pride ourselves in supplying a quality product for racers by racers. As racers, we pride ourselves in giving our customers an outstanding one-of-a-kind paint job at an affordable price in a timely manner. Todd's Extreme Paint takes pride in superior customer service before, during, and after the sale. Todd's Extreme Paint. We got racers and spectators and everybody out on the starting line here watching as we finish up our dragster shootout. The American Race Cars Dragster Chassis Shootout, our 30K main event here on Thursday. As we will crown our second and third winners of the weekend. Our second 30K winner of the weekend. Is last night it was Caroline McCarty picking up the big check in her Rambler wagon. See who it is tonight. As... J.R. Barclay has lane choice over Corey Manuel. And Junior Hodges has lane choice over Spencer Massey. That is our final four as they have been called to the staging lanes. And we will get rocking and rolling here shortly. We will. Door cars kind of ruled the roost a little bit out there in Galat. Did they? They did. It did, at least on the few days I was there. At least, I mean, I know that it was an all-door car final, what was it, Thursday? Uh-huh. I know a door car won Sunday. Yep. And there was a door car on the final on Wednesday. Okay. We didn't get a race on Friday, so. All right. What about Tuesday? No, no. That was not, but. A door car. But, I mean, after we got rolling, door cars right. really took over, and then they just kind of kept that momentum rolling in here. With Caroline getting that win last night, but uh, unfortunately, the have rolled the show today. Exactly, the dragsters have said enough. There will be no more. I'm tired of tired of losing to the slow door cars. Right. Which apparently is Peter Biondo's weakness. He said his weakness is slow door cars. Took his drop driving from him. The trophy is finding its way down in front of the tower, right? Yes. They found the kryptonite for the Terminator. All right, we are down to eight in the shootout. We are down to four in the main event. We just got the ladder for the shootout. So in the shootout, they are gonna be coming back on the ladder. It will be Tedesco with lane choice over Thompson. Holland with lane choice over Kidd. Ezell with lane choice over Domino. And Fuller with lane choice over Carter. So it's Fuller lane choice over Carter, Izell lane choice over Domino, Holland with lane choice over Kidd, Tedesco with lane choice over Thompson. As we'll be coming back with eight in the shootout, I believe our four semifinalists have made their way back into the staging lanes. I'm looking back there, I count one, two, three, four long cars. That's right, JJ, right? Semifinalists, we should have four of them back there. Because if we were in the semifinals and we pop back in with like eight, there'd be a problem. Or five. 
Less than four, we'd still be okay. If we had three. Sure, sure. But that's where we're at. <laughs> Somebody's pulling out a Lego Batman request. I'm Batman. Oh, look at that. The check's making its way out there. Again, just like uh, yesterday. The trophy's out there. The check is out there. Yeah, the winner's out there somewhere. We just haven't determined it yet, so... All we have to fill out is the payee information on that check. The payer part. And we are going to get one step closer to figuring out the payee part. As we are down to the semifinals in the $30,000. You know, American race cars, we got the American race car shootout. We got the American race car $30,000 to win day. They're doing all kinds of stuff. Spencer, Massey, and Junior Hodges. Junior's dialed in 472. Massey's dialed in 477. So rolling into this round, five hun the difference in the dial. And a Wilkesboro, North Carolina versus Fort Worth, Texas matchup. But I do have to uh, obviously give credit where credit is due for the four cars that are left in. Junior Hodges got down this deep last night. Again, showing up here now. I mean, maybe not semi-deep, but he was deep. Spencer Massey gets 17 thousandths of a second advantage on the tree. 002 is the bulb. 478 on a 477 takes 18 thou at the stripe. Junior Hodges was 19 green, 473 on a 472. And Spencer Massey will be coming back to race for $30,000. worth of American race cars money. And for the second time since we've gotten on the ladder, Spencer Massey puts up a 002 reaction time. So 002, one above, Spencer Massey gets the win. And he will take on either Corey Manuel or J.R. Barclay. In the final round, Manuel's dialed 456, Barclay's dialed 453. Tiny little head start's going to go to Corey Manuel. And J.R. Barclay eliminated that pretty much right off the bat. J.R. Barclay, 453 on a 453 was 002, get their first 13 thou to get the win. Corey Manuel was 14 green and dead on seven. 14 dead seven, bows out. J.R. Barclay, 002, dead six to be eight total and earn the right to come back and take on Spencer Massey. Jags.
How many perfect runs in a row, then you'll come do it? 18 perfect runs in a row, then you'll come race a fling? So you'll be here next year. Yeah, we'll see. All right, we'll take our American Race Cars Todd's Extreme Paint Shootout quarterfinalists to the lanes, please. You are on a ladder. So again, we'll take the shootout quarterfinalists for the American Race Car and Todd's Extreme Paint to the lanes. Again, it is Tedesco with lane choice over Thompson, Holland with lane choice over Kidd, Izell with lane choice over Domino, and Fuller with lane choice over Carter. Dude, I hope so, Beard. I want this whole 2020 just, I mean, I'm, I'm really hoping that that little meme that they've been posting up about, you know, when we rolled the clocks and we sprung forward and all that kind of stuff and we had a Friday the 13th and we had a full moon and we had this and we had that. And then come the end of October, we're supposed to get another full moon and, you know, we'll get another Friday the 13th. We'll get all that. We'll roll the clock backs and it's going to be like factory reset. We'll go back to regular normal stuff. Somebody will put out the dumpster fire that is 2020 and we'll get to reset and we'll get to move on with more of a regular life. I'm just that I'm with you, man. I want that to happen. Race cars, Todd's Extreme Paint Shootout quarterfinalists headed back to the staging lanes. Again, we are going to have Tedesco with lane choice over Thompson, Holland with lane choice over Kidd, Ezell with lane choice over Domino, and Fuller with lane choice over Carter. Our two finalists in the $30,000 main event today have been decided. And it is going to be Jared Barkley and Spencer Massey. Both of them were 002 in their semifinal matchup. They're back in the pits right now. Get them cooled down and turned around, and they will be back soon. Good, good question. What do we do there? Mm -hmm. You know what I did see? I've actually seen that happen before. Not with dragsters, but with motorcycles. We were racing motorcycles. Obviously, by rule, we all know what would go down. Essentially, it's like a double DQ. But both drivers, or both riders, I should say, left the starting line. Both bikes broke almost immediately. And luckily enough, at the time, I actually had the computer fired up. Everything was ready to go. And they did that whole, like, you know, what was it? The uh, Ricky Bobby thing. 
they did the whole Talladega Nights thing, except for the fact that they didn't just leave the bikes and run. They started pushing the bikes. They started pushing the bikes towards the finish line, and like I said, luckily enough, I had the computer fired up. I jumped into my music library real fast, found the theme song from Chariots of Fire. No. The theme song from Chariots of Fire, which is an old movie about foot racing. And I started playing the Chariots of Fire theme while we watched them push their bikes to the finish line. <laughs> it was awesome. I think both of them about passed out from dehydration by the time they got there, but we enjoyed the moment. Well, this was actually before, this was actually before um, the Talladega Nights movie came out, but yeah, it was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. More people, before people learn the joys of being all jacked up on Mountain Dew and learning how to come at each other like a spider monkey. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, they got talking about your dad's day job because everybody wanted to know if he was going to be able to make the trip out west for the Spring Fling West, but unfortunately, you know, everybody's got responsibilities, everybody's got duties, got things they got to take care of, and he, uh, he is a responsible person, a good father, and uh, he is going to stay home and make sure that he does his deal while the rest of us live fast and furious on the edge of insanity. Oh, it's been like that for a while. down to 10 cars left in competition here tonight. It's actually worked out pretty good. I mean, the American Race Cars Todd's Extreme Paint Shootout was going to happen on Tuesday. Ended up getting stacked right on top of the American Race Cars $30,000 to win Thursday. So it's like an all-American race car day. American. America. America. Well, yeehaw. All right, we will talk about that here in a minute because we just got the results from Labusa's drawing. But we've got eight race cars that are trying to battle their way into the field of four for the American Race Cars Todd's Extreme Paint Shootout. Shane Thompson is on the right, dialed in at 461. Mia Tedesco is on the left, dialed in at 478. And with all that is happening here, again, Todd's has already done his job on that dragster chassis that's sitting over there, and it looks really nice. It's really nice, Clark. So what do we say? Five wind lights will get you the dragster. Everybody's coming in with two in the bank. Trying to get one more. 25 thou separate him at this end of the racetrack, and Shane Thompson will move on. 463 on the 461 for Shane. 003 on the tree. Thompson gets the win light. Mia Tedesco was 28 green, one above. 479 on the 478. 
So Thompson with a 003 moves into the round of four as Bruce Holland and Mark Kidd. Holland with a 450 dial, Mark Kidd with a 453, the Twin Falls, Idaho-based runner. Got bumped out of lane that he likes over that left side as Holland had that lane choice over Kidd. Holland took over the left lane. He's dialed 450. Pre-stage bulbs are lit. And Mark Kidd from that Kidd Performance and Dino who sponsored that bounty that was put up on last night's winner is going to move into the round of four as well. 454. On a 453, Mark Kidd was 20 on the tree. Bruce Holland, 31 green, decided he was going to take, gets their first fourth out and goes 449. To break out on the dial is now Johnny Zell and Robert Domino. Robert, the Numidia Dragway car out of Pennsylvania, 449 is the dial. Ezell's dialed 479. Three tenths of a second. Head start going to Ezell. Johnny drops it red, 12 thousandths of a second, and Domino. 011 on the tree and 449 on a 449. So three of the four have been decided. Thompson with a 003 light, Kid with a 20 bulb, Domino with an 011. And this next pair will set the ladder based on performance. Colby Fuller, Johnny Carter. Carter showing at the Hobbs, New Mexico. Already running one of those American dragsters. 485 is the dial. On that Fitzgerald side of the racetrack, Colby Fuller, 465 on the right side. And this one is over at this end as well. Fuller, 13 red. Johnny Carter is 12 green. And then goes 484 on the 485. <laughs> to life. Kenny and Norm knew that, which is why for over 50 years, the company that bears their name has been re-engineering what filtration can do. Engineered to protect against dirt and scientifically proven to provide up to 50% more airflow. k and 50 years of performance and innovation. Some people just think parts is parts, but not us. Because we know when you order any of the over 1 million parts at JEGS.com, you get the whole company. Expert advice, day or night, from the pros who know how to make you go. From now on, get your parts and your smarts only at JEGS.com. Selection, service, and sweet satisfaction. That is JEGS.com. When the trash talk stops, when it's time to put up or shut up. When your money is in his pocket. When there are no more grudges to settle. Bragging rights earned. Daddy Dave depends on Mickey Thompson tires for his truck too. Every run, every mile, Mickey Thompson tires. million. 
So by way of John LeBou Sr.'s raffle, Aaron Vale and Chris Butcher, you guys were the two that were drawn for the tech cards. The following folks were all drawn and get 100 bucks a piece. All it says is kick booty. So, yep. Pruitt. Somebody's got $100 headed that way. Robert Davies, Tracy Sons, Gary Dunn, Stacy Hall, Dustin Long, Mike White, and KJ Desa. So those were the tickets that were drawn for the hundred dollars. Again, Kick Booty, Robert Davies, Tracy Sons, Gary Dunn, Stacy Hall, Dustin Long, Mike White, and KJ Desa. You guys all get a hundred bucks out of that raffle. So Aaron Vale and Chris Butcher get the tech cards. The rest of you that were named off get a hundred dollars. Go on over there and. See Labus. And he'll get you what you've won. We're getting our finalists back to the staging lanes. We're down to just four in the shootout. So the ladder is in for the semifinals for that American Race Cars and Todd's Extreme Paint Shootout. It's Thompson with lane choice over Carter and Domino with lane choice over Kid. So those are the final four that are going to be coming back. Again, uh, Thompson lane choice over Carter, Domino with lane choice over Kid in the final four. Kind of looking at the chat boards again. We'll say, uh, huh. Question, another question coming in from Gage Gilbert. What is your favorite song to play at the track? My favorite song to play at the track is Closing Time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't have a favorite song to play at the track. I pretty much got to the point now where I just turn on like a little Pandora and let it play. Whatever comes up, comes up. But I do hear some in engines rumbling around back there. And that means we are getting closer. Again, for a week that started off a little bit slow with nothing happening on Tuesday, I think uh, we have made some fantastic headway. And that is certainly due in part to the racers. You guys, thank you very much as we have uh, had some very active, very full days. And it seems like every time that we've put out the call for people to come to the lanes, every time we've had anything that might or could have posed a problem on the racetrack, I mean, the racers, top-notch, second to none, have just absolutely been super supportive. I mean, we get down into the later rounds like this. We start calling people back into the lanes. Everybody's, like, very quick as far as responding and making their way back here. So, racers, thank you so much for all that you have done. Uh, to help us make sure that this event runs as smooth as it can. Oh, and by the way, just want to give a little heads up to the racers that the payout window is now open back at the Diva Desk. If you have not yet been to the Diva Desk, it is actually located behind the tower. You come up here kind of on the staging lane side and go around to the opposite side of the tower. Got this really nice building set up there. That is the Diva Desk. That is where they're going to be doing payout. So if you have raced your way, uh, at any point this week, 
beyond a third round or somewhere where you're going to have some money headed your direction, that payout window is open. They would love uh, to start getting a little bit of a jump on things and get more of that payout, payout taken care of. Because as we are making our way through the week, and we know that as we get later and later into the week, it's pretty much one of those deals where things can, you know, you start to build up a little bit of a line. So if we chunk those things out little by little, makes it a whole lot easier to get everybody taken care of in a very timely manner. So again, the payout window is open. If you'd like to make your way back there, they will certainly get you taken care of. Just a wonderful, wonderful group of people that are more than happy to hand you a check and pay you. Which is always good. Well, Mr. Boo Boo, to answer your question right now, says it's about 52 degrees here. Not a whole lot of breeze, definitely chilly enough that folks need a jacket outside, but for the most part, it's actually very, very nice. I mean, we really have, after Tuesday, had just two fantastic days of weather. It's been beautiful. The sun's been out most of the afternoon. Had a couple of clouds that rolled over here, cooled it off kind of nice. It was actually starting to heat up a little bit, feeling a little warm outside, but after the clouds rolled over, it got really nice again then the sun went down got a little chilly but certainly not bad definitely very very comfortable So the final round of the American race cars, $30,000 to win Thursday, is an all dragster affair. So with JR dialed in at 452, Barclay out of Henderson, Tennessee. Going up against Spencer Massey. Spencer, who has certainly had his fair share of win lights, his fair share of final rounds, his fair share of event championships across the board, all the way from the pro ranks 
down through his days as a bracket racer, trying to get it all done again. Away we go, four foul, the difference between the two in the reaction time. And at the stripe, Spencer Massey grabs himself the $30,000 payday. Spencer was 16 on the reaction timer, takes six thou at the stripe, and goes dead on one to get the win light. J.R. Barclay had a 12 thou reaction time and runs one above the dial, 453 on the 452. And Spencer Massey returning to the winner's circle. This time at Bristol Dragway, pretty cool deal. Pretty cool deal for Spencer Massey to uh, pick up that win. J.R. Barclay, nicely done. Going to get that runner-up money. Going to get that runner-up prize. But it is Spencer Massey who gets the win here tonight. Joining Carolyn McCarty as winners on the weekend. Hey, our American and Todd's Extreme Paint Shootout semifinalists We'll take you to the staging lanes, please. Shootout semifinalists. Let's get you headed this direction. That is going to be Thompson with lane choice over Carter. Domino with lane choice over Kidd. We'll get the four of you headed back this direction, please. As Spencer Massey's going to be headed back down the return road. And we'll be coming down here to talk with Jed in a moment. Going to get cleared through the crowd. Maybe. See, they're certainly waiting over here in front of the tower, but.
Okay, here we are with today's American Race Cars $30,000 champion, Spencer Massey. You've won big races in a dragster before, and you probably did it before going 477. Whole different scenario. How does this compare? This is awesome. I mean, right here, this is the best of the best. Everybody out here that races these big money races can go rounds. This is the best of the best in the country. I mean, what can you say about, you know, Peter and Kyle and everybody putting on these races? And then you got guys like Johnny Zell and, and Galetti and everybody that I hang out with all the time. I always watch those guys win. Lil Corey, I mean, and Hunter, now I'm over here getting to hang out like those guys. I mean, I've done it a lot in my top fuel days. I've gotten to do a bunch of stuff on the big stage, but this is the, the new big stage. Top fuel's cool, but this is better, man. This is awesome. Well, you definitely, going through a day like this and this kind of competition, you feel like you've earned it. I know 477 being welded on this thing, you went dead on a bunch. Car was great. You drove really well, made good decisions. Got to feel good knowing what's happening tomorrow, this huge day tomorrow, and you're on fire, man. You're on a roll right now. I'm ready to keep it going, too. And not only that, we had the 50000 run for the money deal tomorrow. So I'm, I'm ready to put that thing trip zip, dead zero. Come on. I'll try and put that 77 on it. We'll see what happens, you know. But then first things first is taking care of that. Then we get down to business with the million. I mean, that's why we're here. That's why we're all here, just have fun and get to celebrate with somebody. Hopefully, it's one of our friends tomorrow, and hopefully, it's me. <laughs> well said. Cool to see you out here, man. Great job. Congratulations on being the $30,000 champion here on American Race Cars Thursday. And good luck tomorrow. It's a big day. Hopefully you get your share of it. I appreciate it. I got to say hi to my babe, Danielle. Wish you were here. Thank you, guys. Spencer Massey, everybody. You're $30,000 champion on American Race Cars Thursday. Jags.
All right, semifinals. American Race Cars Dragster Shootout. Got Robbie Domino in the left lane. 449 is the dial out of Holly, Pennsylvania. All the way out from Twin Falls, Idaho, in the right is Mark Kidd. Now, this is truly east and west coast going at it. They're not ocean to ocean, but they're nearly as far apart as you're going to get. Kidd dialed 454, getting a slight 500 head start on Domino. Winner goes to the final to compete for that beautiful American race cars dragster chassis painted by Todd's Extreme Paint. Eighteen thou separate them. Domino, seven take seven. Ten thou above, seventeen pack. Kid is 25 on the tree, breaks it out a thou, but it didn't matter. Domino laid him down 14 total. Robbie Domino with a shot at that American race car's chassis. Next up out of Hobbs, New Mexico. In the left lane is Johnny Carter. Carter dialed 484. Right lane, Shane Thompson out of Henderson, Nevada. Shane looking for a 461 on the board. You got New Mexico and Nevada squaring up all the way out here in Northeast Tennessee. Winner goes to the final. Shane Thompson goes red and Carter. We'll go to the final round to face Robert Domino. Carter, 18, 21 thou above, 39 pack. Lane choice will go to Robbie Domino. Good morning, racers, and welcome. We've had some uh, pretty serious weather challenges as we've made our way through the week here. Mother Nature decided that we were to do no racing yesterday, which means that today we've got twice as much racing to do. some 